Welcome to Top 10 Tuesday. My name is Anna and today I'm going to be sharing my top 10 favorite brands. As of right now, August of 2021, these are my top 10 favorite brands and I'll tell you why. Just keep watching. Okay, so I thought it might be fun to just talk about what my top 10 favorite brands are and why. And I have some interesting choices in here because there were some that I didn't think would be here, but there are certain reasons that they are. So in the number 10 spot, my number 10 top favorite brand is Mac. I know that Mac has sort of fallen out of vogue or style with the beauty community in a certain way it's not as exciting it's not they're not coming out with the newest thing necessarily but they have quality products and i still use some of them they just work well all of max products work really well um i use their paint pot for an eye primer still I like that it comes in different colors. It works really well for me. Um, I also, their lipsticks are fine. They have so many colors. They work well, you know? Um, I don't mind the smell of their lipsticks, which is kind of a big deal for me. And, you know, they're, they're just a solid, their blushes work well. They're just a solid company. Oh, their brushes. The brushes, I love MAC brushes. They last forever. I have one that I've had, I don't even wanna tell you how long I've had it, um, but a long time and it's still in great shape and I, I still love it. So MAC, number 10. In ninth place, Davina Cosmetics. I have such a soft spot in my heart for Davina Cosmetics. I love, I love the recent Halo Moon collection that I did a video on. I will link that a card up so you can check that out if you want. Um, I just, I love that they're local. I do live in Portland, Oregon, and they are about an hour south or 50 miles, some, something like that. I mean, it's, it's a hop, skip, and a jump, and so it feels local, and it's Pacific Northwest, and I just love that they're handmade. I think she does such a good job and I'm just very impressed. I really am excited to see where where she goes next and yeah, Davina Cosmetics. Okay, number eight goes to Lethal Cosmetics. Lethal Cosmetics is an indie brand that I just discovered earlier this year and I love, I love them. I have, I got one of their build your own palette um, palettes and I have spent hours, no joke, hours on their website, just creating palettes and playing with color. And I have to say their shadows are great. I love them. They're not the, whoa, crazy, um, kind of like Cleona or Terra Moons with the insane intense, um, shifts and everything but they are very pretty and they work really well and they have a lot of colors. Um, I also, I love their blushes. They have kind of some weird blush colors that when I got them, I sort of got them on a lark, just, oh, we'll, we'll just see, we'll try something that I don't have and they're so much fun. Um, I'm gonna show you the blushes and there's a random shadow in here too, but um, these two shades, I have, this one and this one. And this I have used with so many looks. That lavender, who knew that I needed lavender blush? Lethal Cosmetics knew. Um, and also just a bright orange blush. Somehow it really works. I wasn't expecting it to. I thought, oh, well, it's just gonna be kind of weird. But no, it's really beautiful and I love it. And anyways, yeah, Lethal Cosmetics. I'm really excited to try some other things from them. Um, yeah. All 
right, so on to number six, which goes to Siate London. I so, so, so love their style, their vibe. Everything is little stars and sparkles. Everything is pretty, everything's fun. They have, I just think everything is so cute. And I really, really like a couple of their products. Um, I really like the glitter flip lipsticks. And I know some people think they dry out their lips really bad. And I suppose maybe they're a little drying, but I don't find them to be too bad. And also they last forever. And I like glitter, so I love them. I think they're really fun. And their packaging, their packaging is so cute. I love this. <laughs> I got this straight up for the packaging, 100%. I just wanted to stare at iridescent sparkle stars. The eyeshadow actually is very good too. There are some press, oh, it's hard to open. Oh, no it isn't. So the inside looks like this. There are some pressed glitters in there, which I don't generally typically use anymore, but it's a cute color story and it totally works. It looks great. The, I find the formula works great. And I also really like their, oh, this is my favorite one. It's called In Too Deep and it's so cute little bow, little stars, the acrylic top. I don't know. I just, I find their stuff so sweet. Oh, this has seen better days. I actually hit pan on a blush, which does not happen very often. So yeah, I'm a big fan, big fan of Siate London. I like, I like their stuff. I like their vibe. All right. Okay. And in fifth place, I have Huda Beauty. I really like the aesthetic of Huda Beauty as well. I just find it very feminine and classic. I have the old Nymph highlighter and I bought this because look at how pretty that is, <laughs> just even the design on it. And it turns out, you know, I thought it might be too dark on me, but it's, it's actually like a super, it's actually a super pretty, light shade that looks looks great um with my skin tone i don't know i have a bit of a yellow undertone and this is beautiful i don't think this is available anymore this is the flora um shade but they did come out with some new ones and i think there are some deeper shades anyway so pretty and i i really love also this palette from them mercury retrograde it's just so ethereal and fairy like and I just think it's so, so pretty. I just like the aesthetic. I think they do a great job with that. So, Huda Beauty. And number four goes to Natasha Denona. I love her shadows. I just do. I think, I think anyone who loves eyeshadow and has tried Natasha Denona. I've heard there are some duds. I don't have any of the duds, but I really, really enjoy her color stories. I enjoy her formula. I love her eyeshadows. I can't, I can't help it. Oh, oh, her, I need a nude lipsticks too. Oh my goodness. Those are just mwah, like chef's kiss. Just perfect. They are perfect lipsticks. The smell doesn't bother me, which I love. The formula is comfortable. It's matte without being dry and it stays on forever like forever like I can eat Cheetos and and I still have lips I'm not wearing it today but the Natasha Denona I need a nude lipsticks I want to get more I actually only have one Amorosa and it's beautiful and I love the shade and it is so comfortable and I'm in love with it absolutely in love with it and her eyeshadows I mean they're just they're good they're really good um at least you know 98 percent of them which which is pretty good anyways Natasha Denona number three goes to Pat McGrath <laughs> there is just magic there is magic in 
her makeup. There's magic. I mean, yes, you pay for it. But it's magical. You are literally purchasing magic. And those sparkly special shades in her Mothership palettes are so beautiful. They're so magical. They're so... There is such a different aesthetic to what she does. I think that the colors she chooses to put together are really interesting. She really strikes me, she strikes me as an artist, like a true just artist. Um, you know, her packaging, the artwork on her packaging is really fun. And yeah, I, it just feels special. And for me, that's, that's part of the fun of this. You know, um, I, you know, I collect makeup. I love it. And I can just look at her eyeshadows. <laughs> I can just stare at them just like a, a magpie or a raccoon or a mantis shrimp. Look those up. Those are cool. Anyways, yeah, Pat McGrath's formula is very pigmented. What else to say about it? It's just, it's pure magic. Oh, oh, those blushes she just came out with, the divine blushes. Oh my goodness. I'm wearing, that I am wearing today. And it is just... I also have some bronzer on, but mm, it's just so blurring and perfect, perfecting. Yeah, she just puts magic in, in her makeup and, and I'm here for it. Number two is Terra Moons. Oh my goodness. Those shadows. <laughs> every time I get an order, every time I receive an order, I am just, I'm wowed. I'm, I'm amazed. I can't believe, I can't, I don't believe them. I don't believe that I see them and I don't believe them. They're not real. They're unreal. They are out of this world. Some of those shadows, you know what? I can, I can just watch these. All right. All right. I have my Terra Moon shadows in this like <laughs> a ginormous <laughs> colored rain palette in anticipation of the 96 shadows that I will someday own from from Terra Moons um but yeah oh so pretty here I just I just have to I have to just show you just a couple so you can probably even see on my fingers how amazing these shades are I just I don't know I don't know I just I just kind of can't Ooh, that one's having a hard time focusing. So I know I swatched these. I do have a full a video of all of the shades that I do have. It's a little bright. Here, let's get a little closer. There we go. But how gorgeous are these? So, so that's why. That's why. Yeah, my goodness. I just, it's so, it's so magical. Like, how, how though? Okay, I'm gonna stop so I can move on. But whoa, just the wow factor is, is strong with Terra Moons. I don't know if you can hear that crunching, by the way that is the squirrel right there oh they're so cute all right oh, I mean I mean just I have to I can't look at that it just how <laughs> okay okay I'll stop I'll stop okay 
And that brings us to my number one favorite brand as of August 2021. And that is my dear Odin's Eye. I, I love everything, 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 everything that I have ever gotten from them. Their eyeshadows are beautiful and so flattering, so flattering, so just pretty. And I love their packaging. It's, there, there's a theme here. <laughs> I like pretty magical things and sparkles and ethereal, fairy, unicorn style. <laughs> and Odin's Eye really brings that. I love their, I, I basically love every formula that I've tried. I love their eyeshadows. Their highlighters are so pretty. Um, their blushes, the colors of their blushes are just stunning. They're amazing. And their lipsticks are very comfortable. There's like a cream, a cream lip stain and a matte lip stain. And they're both just beautiful in these different ways. And then their lipsticks, they have the the velvety lips, the velvet lipstick, and then the shine or cream lipstick. I can't remember what it's called. But the smell, there is a scent to them. They kind of smell like they kind of smell like candy a little bit, like grape, maybe candy. But it's very faint and it dissipates over time. It doesn't bother me. Very comfortable. Again, their packaging is just so pretty. This is from the Norns collection. The palette just has, it's just, it's just gorgeous. And then there's this little book with a cat on it. I'm getting a shadow on it. <laughs> but yeah. I'm just, I'm in love with everything that they have. They came out with, with the brushes with their last collection. They're so pretty and soft. Oh my goodness, these are so soft. Just like so soft. So, I'm just in love. I'm completely in love. Odin's Eye has my heart. Ha they, they have my heart. They're gorgeous. Well, that's it. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. I do try to upload two videos a week. I do top tens almost every Tuesday, hopefully every Tuesday. Try to do every Tuesday. Anyways, I hope that you're having a great day and thank you so much for being here. See you in the next one. Bye.